Okay, here we are back in Blocks app. We've previously in other tutorials looked at how to create um, this sort of website. We've got a big cover image here, has a parallax effect. Then we've got a three blocks, um, three elements on here and this block. And then we've got another block that's got a video on it. And then we had another block that's got links to new sites. And then we got a final block down at the bottom as well in the, in the footer. And that's got some social media icons. Now I'm going to add some more um, blocks and we're going to put some parallax images on those too. Now here I am with the um, media block here that we put the video on. I hover down at the bottom center of that block and the plus appears with a gray line and I click. It gives me the option to insert an image it just disappeared because it was taking too long I come over here now the the two of these what one gives you a little bit more images on the uh, and a bit more detail these ones are more or less blank where you can drag and drop the bricks and the bottom and, and make them your own so I click here now it inserts that now it's picked up the color from underneath and if you remember to change the color blocks make sure I've got it selected how I know that I've got the little delete button up at the top that's how I know that I've got that selected if I haven't got it selected it will appear down there so that's how I know I've got it selected and um, also it doesn't have a name so I'm going to just call this I'll call this bridge because I'm going to put an image of a bridge in it and I'm going to call it bridge block once I've got that I've named it that so it's always important to name your blocks now once that's done I go down to the bottom here click on the color and I can change that and I will just make that um, white and there we go so we've changed that to white now once I've got that I will click done to so the color swatches again make sure I've got it selected and it's got a big button here where it's got background and if I click on the plus in the center it'll bring up my select image from assets now again the photos are the ones that I built built into blocks app and then it's got some patterns and also I installed um, some project assets um, myself that I'd scaled right now if I come over here and I come down and I find the image of the bridge that's why we called it that and I click and here it appears so that's come in as a background image and that's how you're going to get the parallax effect now you'll see there's um, a center element on here um, that we can insert some information on there. Now let's see if I delete that, see what happens. So you can get rid of it, and once you've got rid of it, you'll find it's still here. I think it means it comes red that you just can't delete it. That's fine because I do want to put some information on there. So what I will do is once that's there, I will uh, right mouse click. It brings up the bricks at the bottom, and I'm just going to put some um, text. Um, a paragraph block with a heading so if I select that I hover the mouse over here it turns blue to receive it and again we've got that little green button with the plus on it and I click and it will add it to the now remember to right mouse click again to get rid of the bricks if you try and edit it while well, that's still active the little um, green button with the plus it'll just add another block for you now once you're there you can change it around so you can make it the headings bigger or smaller you can actually come over here on the left and take the size up you can change the heading sizes if you want ideally when you're making a website you want to have it you know in a hierarchical way you have your h1 right up at the top and your other heading smaller but you can make them bigger if you wish you can go there also you can use the alt key and the up arrow once you've got it selected and that will make it bigger or smaller and same to go to the paragraph text here you can use that and make it bigger or smaller it's up to you okay so so that's what we can do there now once that's done we can now um put some parallax on it so with that selected we got it selected here you can come up to where it's got padding now if I change the padding and made it from it was on 100 pixels to 200 pixels it would make that block higher also if I went all the way down and made it 50 it would make it more narrower so I've got those things so it depends on 
what you're looking for. I'll just leave it on 200, which is XL. And once I've got that, I'll come down where it's got the parallax and I'll turn parallax and say yes. So it'll change those things around. So now you've got that parallax effect on there as you come up and down, okay? Now you could come along and do that with, you know, lots of other images. So you can come along and say, you know, I would want another block say underneath here. I'll go for something else. I'll come along here and have one of these, which has got some images on. Again, it's picked up the uh, color that's been before. So say, for example, if I want to change that color, I would go here on the left with the properties and I can then change that to black using the swatches. Okay, so bear in mind if you wanna create a color that you wanna use, you need to create it first up at the top and then where it has the hexadecimal value underneath, you would then click on the plus sign to add it to your swatches. Okay, so I've made it black and it's on there. Now you can change these icons. If I click here on one of these icons, I need to make sure I click done over there to the color swatch. When I click on any of these, it comes up here on the right as the icon. And if you click on here, it's attached these uh, awesome icon uh, fonts. And I can choose any one of those and I can change. Same thing, I can come along here. And again, you can come along and change it for any uh, you know, icons you choose. I'll come along and find another one just for one of my get on the umbrella. Okay, so you've changed those around. Now you can, where it's got the size, you can click here and make them large. So I could make them bigger. So if I have those images there, I can make them bigger. I can take them off and make them um, large if I wanted to. So you can scale them from medium to large. So I've made them bigger. Okay, So they're, they're the options that, that you have um, to put them on there. So that's there. So what I can do now is I can bring in another block, say for example, I can come underneath here. And this time again, I'll go for something like a blank. And I'll go here for the first one, which just gives me one frame. Again, it's inherited the color. Um, if I just click here on it and go to the options at the side, I'll just change it to white. And then I click done for the swatches. I'm going to click here and I'll bring in another image. I've got that and I might name this block uh, taxi block. So I know what it's called and I didn't name the other one. So I'll click on the three icons above and I'll call this icon block. Okay, so I've named that. So I've got them all. Hopefully they all should be named properly all the way through. Right, now I can put a parallax on there. So I go up to parallax and say yes. And you can make it bigger or smaller. I'll just leave it on 100. And there you go, you've got parallax. Again, you can do anything on here. You can come along and say, for example, I'll just right mouse click on that. The I've selected the center here. I click the plus down where it has the bricks and you can come along and put in other items on there. So we could come along and say, for example, click on the icons there. And once you've got that, I would come along here and you could click and it puts an icon in there for you. All right, so you can put anything in there. I'll just undo that. Now what we can do, <clears throat> um, I'll just click the plus. 